Okay, so we know that we have a minute ventilation of 12 liters per minute. Okay, just making this up, 12 liters per minute. So over here, remember, minute ventilation goes right here, 12 liters per minute. And our IDE, 1 to 1.5, our tidal volume is 0.5. Okay, now we can do this multiple ways. This, this can literally be done multiple ways right here, right? Because what we see is, is we could use these two numbers to get our respiratory rate, to get our total cycle time, and then use our IE to get our I time and our E time. Or we could say 12 liters per minute times 2.5 is going to give us our flow. So let's just do it like that. Let's just see what happens when we do it like this. Let's see if it works. 12 times 2.5 equals 30 liters per minute. Now we can get our I time because we know tidal volume and we know flow. So now we do tidal volume. Remember, we got to turn this into liters per second. So 30 divided by 60 is 0.5. So it's 0.5 divided by 0.5. And that gives us a one second I time. If we say, okay, if I have a one second I time, one times 1.5, we have a one and a half second E time. One plus one and a half equals total cycle time, 2.5 seconds. Now, let's just see what happens here. If we do 60 divided by 2.5, that means we should have a respiratory rate of 24. 60 seconds. Each breath is two and a half seconds. That means our respiratory rate is 24 breaths per minute. But also, we can double check that. If our minute ventilation is 12, then we can do 12 liters per minute divided by 0.5. Guess what we get? 24. 